Have you ever thought about what it would be like to live in the dark? Rarely do we ever experience such total darkness. Without light, you can see nothing. We perceive the world around us by using our sense of sight. How do we perceive these things? The answer is light. So, what is light? We all know that we are unable to see anything in a dark room. On lighting up the room, things become visible. You might have seen that a beam of torchlight enters the room and allowed to see so many things in that room. Light is a kind of energy called electromagnetic radiation that can be detected by the human eye. So, what are the possible sources of light? The sun is the main source of natural light for all the living things on Earth. The sun is the closest star to Earth. Even at a distance of 150 million kilometers away from Earth, its gravitational pull holds the planet in orbit. The sun has extremely important influences on our planet, it drives weather, ocean currents, seasons, and climate, and makes plant life possible through photosynthesis. Without the sun's heat and light, life on Earth would not exist. Here, the sun emits the light, so it is called a luminous object, while the Earth and Moon that do not emit light, are called non-luminous objects. Let us learn more about luminous and non-luminous objects. The objects that can emit light energy by themselves are known as luminous objects. Sun, candle, bulb, and firefly are the luminous objects. The objects that do not give out or emit light of their own are called non-luminous objects or illuminated objects. For example, the objects like table, flower vase, person, and books do not emit light and are called non-luminous objects. How do we see these non-luminous objects? The act of seeing an object is the result of light from any luminous source. Light from each point on a luminous object travels outward in all directions in straight lines. For example, the sun, radiating outwardly from the source until it strikes the object, and is reflected to travel to the observer's eyes, where if it retains sufficient intensity, it will form an image on the retina at the back of the eye to be interpreted by the brain. To see more videos, like this and please consider subscribing.